hello everyone and welcome back to my channel thought I would do a little get ready with me because I'm going to get my hair done I haven't got my hair done since November before I left for London and if you don't know before I was definitely like a very bright blonde but I did go a little bit darker a little bit more of my natural oh my god what is that beeping um, but I did go a little bit more of my natural hair color and spring is springing and we're getting close to summer and I really just want a bit more of a light refresh. I feel like almost every blonde I know who went a little darker chooses to go back a little blonder again. So that is what we're doing today. I am going to first do a little bit of a bronzy glow. I'm going to be mixing a few products, I think. I'm going to be mixing the elephant, sorry, drunk elephant debronzy anti-pollution drops with some moisturizer this is the road moisturizer i just feel like it dilutes it a bit so it's not like super intense otherwise i find it a little bit hard to blend and sometimes like a little bit splotchy and patchy so i'm just gonna do a little cocktail in my hands i feel like that's too much product but whatever and I have some new products that I just got that I'm really excited to try. Tell me if I'm the only one, but whenever I'm getting my hair done, if I go without some type of makeup, like a face of makeup or like a cute outfit, I can't fully tell if I like my hair. Like how I would be for like going out to the mall or like a date night or something. Now we're gonna go in with, I think I'm just gonna do concealer today. Keep it pretty light, NARS Radiant, no, soft matte concealer hourglass concealer brush i have the foundation brush somewhere which is like one of my favorite foundation brushes brushes but i have misplaced it and it's very very sad because i love that brush so so much I'm not sure where it went like misplaced it with my westman atelier contour stick like the larger size that i have so not quite sure where that went but I might just have to buy another one. Very, very sad about it. Because hourglass brushes are not cheap. They're actually quite expensive. And I'm just gonna use this concealer kind of anywhere where I want to even out my complexion. We're gonna use the more kind of slanted concealer brush. This is incredible. And this is really good at buffing and blending everything out. I think I'm just gonna go concealer today. So we are less than two weeks away from our trip to Paris. I'm super duper excited. It's our second time in Paris and it is my favorite place in the whole world. I love Paris so, so much. And the last time that my husband and I went was really kind of like our honeymoon celebration and I had gone for um, about 10 days. And this time we're doing a bit of a shorter trip. We're only gone for a week, um, actually, I think we've only six full days there. So definitely less time, but because we have already been there, we don't need to do all of the touristy things that one would do on their first trip to Paris. We're just really going to focus on like exploring different restaurants, going to some of the places that we went on our first trip that we just really, really love and hold a special place in our heart, trying new foods, like just living as if we live there. So super duper excited about that. I've been planning my outfits. I'm very type A, I've been type A like with organization and planning for a very long time. Um, and while I'm not super specific about where exactly we'll be traveling to in Paris, I have been hyper planning my outfits. So I've been getting lots of inspiration from Pinterest and then kind of seeing what items in my closet I already have kind of go with the outfit inspo that I have and then also fill in some of the gaps of any products that I don't have products clothing pieces I don't have that I feel like would complete the looks but also be versatile like not like a not a piece of clothing that you could only really style one way or use for one particular look I want something to be multi purposeful different looks whether it be like an everyday outfit or a date night outfit. I did buy a dress from Zara that I've been wanting for, not this specific dress for a while, but I've been wanting a style of dress very similar to this. And it is a um, high neck maxi long sleeve black dress. So I wanted something that was sexy and like kind of tight fitting, but wasn't 
doesn't expose a lot of skin. I feel like I'm also that way when it comes to the weather. Like you want something that you don't feel like you have to wear a jacket or have to wear a coat on to stay warm. So um, I think it's a bit of a knit material, but it has a nice kind of like angular or different neckline just to add some visual appeal. So it's not just like a standard maxi um, dress with long sleeves. So I think that'll be possibly the outfit that I wear for our Eiffel Tower dinner. We made reservations at Café de l'Homme, which has a terrace with beautiful views of the Eiffel Tower. And I cannot wait because last time we were in Paris, if you can believe it, we did not see the Eiffel Tower light up because we weren't near the Eiffel Tower at night and we go to bed so early like we eat dinner early we go to bed early and that is not the culture in Paris like Paris I feel like Parisians eat dinner late and they stay up late we are like 4 to 6 p.m eating dinner um so we're trying to eat a little bit later be a little bit more like the Parisians so I think our reservations are for seven or eight which is crazy to me the Eiffel Tower basically starts lighting up until the sun, like when the sun sets until I think one o'clock at night. So we're gonna see it. We're gonna stay there until we see it. So um, I'm using Petal Blush by Westman Atelier. So yeah, I'm planning out my outfits. There are a couple of gaps. I have some things laid out. I have a clothing rack. So I just lay out all the clothes on that clothing rack just to really see how much volume of clothes I have, see what can work together. So I just start pulling things from my closet, getting a little bit of an idea of the items that I wanna wear. And then I start styling them to see if they are good pieces to interchange together. If I can make multiple different looks and outfits. Like right now, just looking, I can see I have two jeans, one pair of pants. I'm wearing a pair of pants that I think I'm gonna bring with me. And I have three skirts. They're all maxi kind of like silk or satin skirts. So um, I really like the look of those paired with a t-shirt and like a light jacket or an oversized like cashmere sweater. I feel like that is super chic. You're covered, but you just look put together. So that is kind of the general vibe that I'm going for. I've got a piece of the outfits. Cause have you ever seen those like TikToks or Instagram reels where it's like, is this a fit or is it just Pinterest? Um, so I have a lot of inspiration from Pinterest, but sometimes it just doesn't look the same on you, right? Cause these girls are like fashion influencers or like they just look very model-esque. And sometimes the outfit just doesn't look the same on um, you or your body type or whatever. It could be like their hair that you're really drawn to. And so that's what makes the outfit look so much better. I've also ordered a couple things online. Just got my pair of pants from Zara. Got a really cute cropped trench jacket from h and I have a couple more like clothes in that dress that I was talking about from Zara that's coming in and um, we'll kind of see with what we've got in our closet and then maybe go to the mall one more time to figure out if there's any gaps to be filled but I really am trying not to spend too much money or just buy like a whole new whole new wardrobe because I kind of did that for Italy last year and a lot of the pieces of clothing that I actually bought for that from like Zara for example I did not keep or do not plan on keeping so I'm really trying to be mindful about the products and clothing pieces I buy and make sure that there's something that I'm going to wear beyond that trip. Now for the eyes I got some new fun products from Giorgio Armani and I really or Armani Beauty I think it's called I really like this brand um and their packaging just is so luxe but I got these little eye pods in PR and I'm very excited to try them I don't know if this is all their whole color range or if they have more but these are their eye tints these colors I think I might go in with this color because this is traditionally kind of the color that I pop into my eye um socket this almost like bronze color so we're going to try that and then I might just top it off with some of the shimmery shadow in the middle. Love that chocolate brown because I feel like that will look so good. Oh wow, this is cool. Here, let me zoom in so you can see. It's so kind of like a very milky 
tanny brown and then I'm gonna use a nice buffing brush just buff that all over the eye super duper pigmented I have a couple of these eye tints where as soon as you start blending them out they just dissipate into absolutely nothing and no color payoff at all this is really nice it blends really easily it feels like it's drying down so that it's not going to crease I really like that ah wow, cool, cool 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 and I'm using the baby blender brush from Westman Atelier which is like a really dense domed blush brush brush that she recommends using with the actual baby cheeks blushes which I couldn't imagine applying blush with this tiny tiny brush but brushing that out it definitely does have more of a warm kind of orangey color payoff than like a traditional bronzer that I would use on the eyelid but I do like it I do find this color looks really good with blue eyes so I'm about it um, and then we have two shimmer colors I think this one's called rose and I can't remember what this one's called but this one definitely has more of like a purpley pinky iridescent sheen to it and this looks more of like a true champagne so I'm gonna go in with this color and I'm gonna pop that right in the center wow look at that that's stunning okay I'm gonna use that same brush because I am lazy and just kind of tap that really 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 pretty and then I'm curious I kind of want to try the chocolate brown like as a smudge I'm just gonna do a little line lash line outer corner smaller smudgy brush holy moly she's pigmented that's like a liner just gonna use my finger to I'm gonna use that big buff brush again just to buff it up and kind of like fan it out you know because she got smoky real fast super duper pretty though wow like really really good quality obsessed I'm gonna use the Givenchy rose powder just find this really good for brightening under the eyes Oopsie, got that all over my table and it helps brighten and soften like it almost blurs I'm gonna use a bit of this bronzer just to bronze up my face so lastly we are going to do mascara and then lips and then we're done and then we gotta skedaddle and it's funny I always go to the appointment with like a bit like day two to like day four hair where it gets a little bit greasy and I think we're on day three hair and it's definitely greasy which is why I've slicked it back into a bun but I heard that this is way better if you're coloring your hair to have a little bit dirtier and I don't know if that's because your hair naturally has like those oils so it helps like protect your hair from damage or if it helps the product like the bleach work better I actually don't really know what the answer is you do hair you know let me know but my mother always told me hair should be colored when it's dirtier so I feel so bad when they take my hair out of like a bun or a ponytail and it's just like greasy and gross but mascara done I'm gonna pop a little bit of this blush Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. liking this so far I'm just gonna put some Laneige lip mask on vanilla and then a bit of brow gel hair is soon going to be dyed now I'm not going to go like back to my original blonde I'm gonna do more of a balayage which I've never actually done like a balayage before so that way when my roots grow out it still looks kind of like seamless and natural it doesn't look like a nice stark 
roots line um but we're definitely gonna add some face serving blonde add some blonde to the end and i'm really excited um so yeah it's 12.08 i better run because my appointment's at one but thank you so much for watching and i will do a little transformation of my hair afterwards bye bye